thanks. And Colorado has led the way when it comes to marijuana, including the impact pot can have in the operating room. Yeah, new information suggests patients who use cannabis respond to anesthesia differently. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt talked to a doctor about this research, and Karen, a lot of questions about what this means. And Karen, Colorado, the best place to ask those questions. Doctors say if you use marijuana, it's something you absolutely want to disclose and you want to be honest about. They say that it could, it could affect your next hospital visit and even your treatment plan. You can smoke it, vape it, or bake it in chocolate. Whatever you do with marijuana, doctors want to know about it. We're very willing to adapt to whatever we need to do to make the procedure safe for the patient. But this has added another little twist into the things that we think about and ask about. Dr. Joy Hawkins is a professor of anesthesiology at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. She's among several Colorado doctors making changes to anesthetic plans for patients who use marijuana. It's that we have to use more. And any medication we use will, of course, has its own side effect. According to a small study done right here in Colorado, regular cannabis users may need twice the level of sedation. There's an underlying feeling that these patients are perhaps more tolerant of some of the drugs that we use, and a bit of research is now finally beginning to bear that out. Dr. Hawkins says more research is needed, and if federal dollars were allowed to fund it, Colorado would make the perfect lab. After years of legalization, more people are willing to share information about their use of marijuana. We have definitely seen a difference, and I do think the stigma is gone. So it's good on the one hand because now we have that information. Dr. Hawkins did not participate in that study, but she says she's seen this in her own patients. If you want to take a closer look at the study in its entirety, we have a link online at cbsdenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Pretty interesting, Karen. Thank you.